They see our little wool connecting point channel, leaving lung seven, right, just proximal to the styloid process of the radius, spreading out through the thenar eminence, where, you know, there's going to be a deep connection. So you turn the hand over, the other side is the yuan source point of large intestine channel of Han Yang Ming, large intestine four. So it spreads out through the thenar eminence and makes a connection. There's also an exit branch that runs to the tip of the um, index finger on the radial side of the nail, which is where large, intest uh, large intestine one is out over here. Okay. We see our sinew channel. Sinew channels are important, right? Because they bring nourishment, chi and blood to the muscles, to the surface. Yeah. Begins, all of the sinew channels begin on the extremity, begins on the radial side of the thumb, moves across the palmar aspect of the thumb, across the transverse wrist crease, follows the distribution of the channel itself, but the sinew channels are broader distributions. Right. Moves up, comes across under the clavicle, connects with the shoulder, so we can see. Moves down to the pectoral, pectoral region and the anterior portion of the ribs, right? To the end of the floating ribs and connects with the diaphragm. So any pathology of the sinew channel is going to be pain and cramping, discoloration along the course of the channel itself. And when we do massage therapy, it is primarily as we're massaging the sinew muscle channel. Sometimes it's called the musculotendinal, musculotendinal channel as well. But as we move and massage the sinew or musculotendinal channel, that's, that's what we're working on in massage with deeper focus uh, on certain points depending on what the desired therapeutic effect will be. Okay, so let us move now into today's main topic, the large intestine channel of Han Yang Mei. Okay, the function of the large intestine food, Da Chang, Right, we said the lung was fei, the large intestine, da, large, great, da, chang, the large intestine, is very similar to its functions in the West, receiving waste from the small intestine, absorbing water and forming feces. Points on the large intestine channel of Han Yang Ming are not much used for disorders of the large intestine. We may see one or two points that have uh, diarrhea or uh, or abdominal cramping or pain as uh, indications. The points on the spleen and stomach channel which pass directly over the large intestine through the abdomen are going to be more effective for disorders of the large intestine. Um, points on the large intestine channel because Yang Ming has such an influence over the head and face because Yang Ming, the whole, the whole channel, right? Remember when we talk about Yang Ming, we're talking about Yang Ming of the hand, which relates to the large intestine channel, and Yang Ming of the foot, which relates to the stomach channel. So when we're talking about Yang Ming, we have to consider or remember that Yang Ming is replete with Yang Qi, Yang energy, Qi and blood, it's full. It's a very full, vital um, region. So the points on Yang Ming channel are going to affect qi and blood strongly. The points on Han Yang Ming are going to affect or have influence over disorders or problems with the face and head, of course the upper extremity, um, the teeth, the gums, the ears, and that is largely due to the influence that this region has or the abundance that, of qi and blood that this region has. So nourishing qi and blood and draining heat 
that we see points like large intestine 11 or large intestine 4 that are big, big heat thirst, particularly in febrile disease. And that's my, my paraphrase of what I'm about to read to you, which was from the spirit, spiritual pivot. Right. According to the spiritual pivot, Yang Ming channel is abundant in qi and blood. Points of both the arm and leg portions of Yang Ming channel are therefore much used clinically to regulate qi and blood in the limbs and treat atrophy disorder, which is uh, weakening and, and uh, shrinking of the muscles, painful obstruction, hemiplegia, which is a one-sided paralysis, and pain of all kinds. Here is our channel as a hand yang channel. It begins on the hand at the radial side of the nail root at large intestine one. It moves up the radial side of the index finger, crosses between the first and second uh, meta metacarpals, right? passes between extensor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis, and moves up the lateral aspect of the upper extremity. Crosses the shoulder, travels posteriorly to connect with all of the other yang channels. All the yang channels meet at Du 14, which is just under the spinous process of the seventh cervical vertebrae, C7. So it crosses back here and connects, then travels across the shoulder to connect with stomach 12 at the center of the supraclavicular fossa. Stomach 12. Here, the channel splits. A deep branch moves internally, connects with the lungs, as you can see, right? Connects with the home organ, the large intestine and travels along the pathway of foot yang ming, right? It's connecting to its phase pair as well, and ends at stomach 37, which is another way we connect hand and foot yang ming. Stomach 37 is the lower hasi point of the large intestine. Okay. The second branch stays on the surface. It's a superficial branch, which has points that we can access. It traverses the anterior lateral portion of the neck comes and circles the mouth. It actually penetrates the cheek and enters the lower gums. Circles the mouth, crosses through the frenulum right under the nose to the opposite side of the face where it ends at large intestine 20. And this is the exit point. So there's a the, the beginning of Foot Yang Ming stomach channel is right here where this channel ends. Our Luo channel begins at Pian Li, large intestine six. Here there's a deep connection to hand tie in to the internal external pair. Okay, so it does connect with the lung channel. And then it travels on its own up the lateral aspect of the arm, passing through the lateral aspect of the elbow, crossing the shoulder, traversing the neck to the cheek where it splits. One branch enters the ear, the other branch connects with the teeth. There we go. And our sinew channel covers a lot of ground. Again, it's a sinew channel. So it begins on the extremity, right? The radial side of the index finger, traveling up the radial side of the index finger, right? Crossing the wrist, binding at the elbow, connecting here, moving up over the shoulder, right, connects and binds to the shoulder, crosses over to connect at the upper thoracic spine, the upper thoracic vertebrae, 
covers that area. So parts of the trapezius, uh, some of the some of the rhomboids, right? Although it's much more superficial than that, not much more, but it nourishes, helps to nourish that area. Yes, and then the channel again crosses over the clavicle, the anterior lateral portion of the neck, right? Binds at the side of the nose where the channel ends, yeah, and then continues on, right, over the top of the head to connect with the mandible on the other side. There's a lot of influence here with uh, unblocking note nasal obstruction, TMJ, shoulder pain, upper back and scapular discomfort. Pain and cramping along the arm, uh, inability to move the shoulder. Uh, we can see a lot of application here, particularly in the area of massage. The points that, that we need to know for the large intestine channel of Han Yang Ming, our entry point is large intestine four, right? As you can see, it's also our Yuan source point. The exit point, as I mentioned earlier, is large intestine 20. She cleft point is large intestine 7. The Jing well, that should be a J. Jing well is large intestine 1. Ying spring, large intestine 2. Shu stream, large intestine 3. Jing river, large intestine 5. He si, large intestine 11. You will notice that these Hussey points, right, are basically all around the elbows and knees, right? As, you know, as the joints bend, right, it creates an opportunity for pooling of chi and blood. And we know that the uh, Hussey points are replete with chi and blood. They're, those are gathering places. The Wu point, Pian Li, large intestine six. The front Mu point, stomach 25. It lays, you know, right in the area of the large intestine. Right? We know the front move points are used diagnostically. So if they're tender, they could point to an issue with the related song or foo. We also know that on the yang channels, following the, the line of reasoning or the, te the technique of using yin to nourish yang, on the yang channels, the front move points are very effective at tonifying uh, the food. So stomach 25 is a great point for harmonizing the chi of the intestines, for strengthening the chi of the intestines. Um, just something to think about. What's not here that I will tell you is the back shoe point. The back shoe point of the large intestine channel is once again on the urinary bladder channel because all of the back shoe points are on the urinary bladder channel. And it is Da Chong Shu, large intestine shoe, that's urinary bladder 25. 